Hello. What I'd like to talk to you about in this video is how to work with our student email accounts and also entering an email for Schoology. One of the things you might not have known is that we have student email accounts set up for you already within the district. There are two of them. One of them is a Gmail account and that's your user ID at alexschools.org and the second is an Office 365 account called user, or your email address would be user ID at alexandri.k12.mn.us. So you have a Gmail account here and you also have this Office 365 account. The way that you get to these accounts, um, we have a button, I'm on the student portal here, you've got a button for Google Docs and you have a button for Office 365. Just ignore the fact that this says staff email. This will get you to your student email also. Let me show you how to do that. Let's do Google Docs first. If you click Google Docs, this is the window that's going to come up. And in this box, you're going to use your username right here. And that would be the year you graduate, the last digits, so for example 15 or 14, your first initial, last initial reversed, and then your student number. And that's at alexschools.org. You don't have to write that, it's just your username right here. And then below down here, you're going to be entering the word password. First time. If this is the first time you've been in this, you're going to put the word password in. Uh, and then click sign in and that will prompt another window that you can reset this password to what you currently use for school. For Office 365 you're going to click Office 365 and this window is going to come up and here you need to type in that complete Office 365 email. So this is going to be your user ID at alexandria.k12.mn.us and then I would click that button right there. Don't worry about anything with password. Once you click this button, click sign in right here and this window is going to pop up. And here, you're going to put in your student login up in this part. And down here, you're going to put your student password. This is already keyed to what we have in the district. And once you do that, it's going to allow you to log in. And you'll have a, a mailbox, um, just like you would have in Hotmail or um, you know whatever email account you have. Now, one of the things that we would like to make sure everybody has is an email address for, at least it's registered for Schoology. So in your Schoology account, if you could pull this down and click on Account Settings. When you do that, this window pops up. And what I'd like you to do is to look down here and make sure there's an email address for your primary email. Now, this does not have to be one of these two email addresses here. Um, this one that you've got or this one that you've got. If you have another email address that you are checking on a daily basis, um, I would put that email address in here. Um, whenever there's a notification for a course that you are registered to, you will get notified of that via email. If you have an alternate email, if you have two emails that you check, um, or if you want, you can use one of these two emails as your alternate email. And then click Save Changes. But this is really important if, to have this email address in Schoology. The last thing that I'd like to talk to you about this morning is how to order your classes 
uh, in your Schoology course menu so that you don't have to search for the courses that your teachers are using. Uh, in this, when you're in Schoology, pull down the course menu. You'll get this window. Click on this vertical arrow right here. Uh, when you do that, this window is going to pop up. So when you see this window, what you can do is you can take, if you click on any of these arrows here, you can move the courses up and down. And what I would encourage you to do is to find the courses that are active right now and drag them to the top of your screen. Uh, that, and when you click Changes or Save Changes, what you will see then every time you pull your course menu down are those courses that you are currently enrolled in. And that should help you find what you want a little bit quicker instead of having to scroll down all the courses that you are enrolled in right now. Thank you.